Hello dear subs today we are again going to talk about the Valide Sultans of Ottoman Empire, the royalty of legacy part 2. MNG Labar M. Crime Hatton was consort concubine of Sultan Memd II, and mother of Sultan Bayezid II. Ottoman inscription Vakfi describes her as H. Tun Binti Abdullah which means that she was a Christian slave converted to Islam. She was either of Greek or Albanian origin. G. Labar origin. entered in Mehmed's harem in 1446, when he was still a prince and the governor of Amasya. She had two children, a son, Izaid Bayezid future Bayezid II born in 1447 in Dimatika, and a daughter, Gevher Hatton. G. Labar got the highest position in the imperial family after the sultan himself when her son, Bayezid ascended the throne in 14818, until her death in 1492. During her son's reign, she and the rest of the imperial family resided at the old palace Sare Atik and were visited by the sultan. G. Labar had a considerable influence over Bayezid, for she used to make evaluations about the situation of some statesmen. Bayezid also valued his mother's words. G. Labar Haddon died in 1492 and was buried in Fatih Mosque, Istanbul. The tomb was damaged in the 1766 Istanbul earthquake and was rebuilt in 1767 to 1768. I.G. Labar Haddon was a consort of Sultan Bayezid II and the mother of Sultan Selim I of the Ottoman Empire and the grandmother of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. One of the oldest references Sinab history gives her name as I Haddon. According to Cecil I. Osman her name is G. Labar Haddon, while Alderson gives her name as I Haddon, as well. Although long confused or mistaken with the namesake I Haddon, daughter of Ayla Devil Bosgert Bey, the 11th ruler of the Dulcadirids. She entered in Bayezid's harem around 1469 at Amasya. When Bayezid was still a Zaid Ottoman prince and the governor of Amasya Sanjak when she gave birth to Selim I in 1470. However, she herself never became recognized as a Valide Hatton because she died in 1505 before Selim's accession to the throne. Her tomb is located in G. Labar Hatton Mosque, Trabzon. Hafsa Sultan Otalso, called I Hafsa Sultan, was a concubine of Selim I and the first Valide Sultan of the Ottoman Empire as the mother of Suleiman the Magnificent. The traditional view holding that Hafsa Sultan was the daughter of Meli the Khan of the Crimean Tatars for much of the period between 1466 and 1515, resting on 17th century Western authors' accounts, has been challenged in favor of a Christian slave origin, based on Ottoman. Having resided in the city of Manisa in western Turkey with her son, Suleiman, who administered the surrounding region between 1513 and 1520 Hafsa Sultan initiated the Manisa's Mizir festival, a local tradition continued today. She also had a large complex built in the city consisting of a mosque. As mother of new Sultan Suleiman, in the 1521 she was also the first Ottoman imperial woman who held title Sultan after her given name, replacing title Hatton. The title valid Hatton title for living mother of the reigning Ottoman Sultan, before 16th century also turned into valid Sultan, making Hafsa the first valid Sultan. Hafsa Sultan died in March 1534 and was buried near her husband in a mausoleum behind the Qibla wall of Yavuz Selim Mosque, in Fatih, Istanbul. The mausoleum was largely destroyed in an earthquake in 1884, a reconstruction effort started in the 1900s. For now this is it today we got to know that Hafsa Sultan was the first who became Sultana and Valide Sultan, before her all were addressed as Valide Hatton or Hatton. Okay now, la Hafiz stay warm and cozy to be healthy. Like subscribe and share if you like it. Bye bye.